Tonight, the search for a missing teenager. 17 year old Kyle Schnurr went missing after Thursday night's Royals game. That's where KMBC 9's Brian Johnson is live with more on the effort to find him tonight. Brian. Yeah, Kyle was last seen here at Kaufman Stadium. He was with a group from Crintonton Residential Treatment Facility. It's basically a specialized school that's run by the St. Luke's Health System. On Thursday, when the storms moved in and the rain, the group decided to leave. That is when Kyle went missing. Now his family wants answers, and they want him found safe. We miss him, and uh, we need everybody's help to uh, find him. With each passing hour, the Schnur family becomes more desperate. Two days later, and still no sign of their missing teen. It's been 48 hours, and we still are in the same position as we were Thursday night when they called to tell me that he was missing. The family says Kyle suffers from mental illnesses, autism, ADHD, and anxiety disorder. He normally takes several medications. Now they fear the worst that he might be going through withdrawals, possibly major depression, or have suicidal thoughts. Kyle means a lot to us, and uh, he's loved. He's loved a lot. The family was planning to have him with them for the weekend. Now they're desperate to get him back and know that he is safe. Because we just want him to come home. His mom says even though she has contacted police and the school, still no progress. She wishes there was more urgency to find him. They pretty much just say they've done all they can at this point, and we just have to wait. Well, as a parent, you can't just sit here and wait. They've been doing everything they can all day long. The parents have been taking to social media, spreading the word that Kyle is missing. Tomorrow, an even larger group plans to go hand out flyers to as many people as possible until he's found. Reporting live at Kaufman Stadium, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News. And the family says Kyle was in the care of Crittenton School while he was at the Royals game. A spokesperson from St. Luke's Health System says they are unable to comment about this situation.